Well, hello, and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. Today, we are going to give you basically what Biden blasted at Trump for holding off on the 2000 our stimulus checks. Because basically, what's going on is, as we all know, Trump has told uh, the bipartisan group <coughs> that he wants $2,000 stimulus checks in the stimulus package proposal, or else he is going to veto or not sign it. Well, as you notice, it is a day after Christmas, and we have millions of people that are about to lose their only form of, of, of money, which is the unemployment, and millions more that are about to lose their only form of housing, which is where they currently live, because the eviction ban expires in exactly five days. And I do believe the unemployment has expired as of yesterday, so people have already lost their unemployment. And yet Trump is still sitting on a bill, not signing it. So let's find out why this is. Because we have the abdiction of responsibility, Biden blasts Trump for a $2,000 stimulus check demand. What now? Okay. For, for, third, for a third time, President Trump has called for a $2,000 stimulus check instead of a $600 maximum. Complicating a already fought process for being America's code relief bill, President like Joe Biden has called Trump out. Here's what could happen next. President Donald Trump on Saturday once again renewed his call for a $2,000 stimulus check to replace an up to $600 payment the same day. Federal employees benefits, sorry, federal unemployment benefits lapse of tens of millions of Americans, four tens of millions, tens of millions of Americans, sorry. And uh, President-elect Joe Biden called out Trump for not signing the bill into law. This addiction of responsibility has devastating consequences, Biden said in a statement Saturday. It is the day after Christmas and millions of families don't know if they're going to be able to make ends meet because of President Donald Trump's refusal to sign the economic relief bill approved by Congress by an overwhelming and bipartisan majority. And that was basically a lot of Republicans and Democrats voted on this bill and they all passed it. The stimulus payment is part of a $900 billion sum set aside to a new aid that is expires by December 31st. It is part of a $1.4 trillion joint bill to also fund the government into 2021. Where Republicans and Democrat, where Republican and Democratic lawmakers passed this ominous package by overwhelming margins earlier this week, Trump demands throwing the bill, which was painfully negotiated for months, it wasn't patient to negotiate for months. And please, uh, listen, was Newton that first came out with this, the uh, $908 billion bill, and all they did was just sort of dull it down a bit and make it smaller. It was negotiated for months. It probably negotiated for about a week, maybe two. Because we all know that the Congress don't work fast. Into turmoil. I said we want to get our great people $2,000 rather than a easy $600. That is now in the bill. Also, stop the billions of dollars in pork, Trump tweeted Saturday morning, referring to the elements of the governmental funding portion of the bill that members of his party agreed to, and which have echoed Trump's own budget requests. Wow, so th th this whole pork thing is what I'm talking about, the economic, uh, elements of the economic government funding portion has echoed Trump's own budget requests. Wow. And as, as I'm not sure if you've been paying attention to office, we notice Trump, since he's been in office, every time he leaves the White House, he's not staying at his little mansion in Florida. He's staying at either any of his properties. And he's also golfing on his own properties. And he's already charged taxpayers over $2.5 million of money for him to stay at his properties and for him to golf at his properties. Tell me what's wrong with that picture. Um, and as it stands now, the uh, calculations built into the $600 ceiling would disqualify many Americans from a second stimulus check. So basically it's limitations to second stimulus check. Trump also tweeted his position on Christmas Day after golfing with Senator Lindsey Graham 
made many calls and had meetings at Trump's International in Palm Beach, Florida. But what? Well, there's more bills we got we got to pay for for Trump. <laughs> Why would politicians not want to give people two thousand rather than six hundred? It wasn't their fault. It was. Yep, there you go. He blames it on China again because because now he is. He is the China virus king. Give us, give our people the money. Is what he's saying. The president's opposition to the amount set aside in the rescue bill is for a second stimulus check. Threatens the viability of a bill that's long been seen by career lawmakers, such as a stopgap until another larger bill is introduced in early 2021. This bill is critical. It needs to be signed into law now, Biden said, but it's also a first step and a down payment to more to more action that will need to be take place in the new year to revive the economy and contain the pandemic. Biden has already committed to a third stimulus check. He's already committed to that one. So that'd be a third stimulus check for people. Adding to the confusion, the president hasn't said outright if he will outright veto the bill. <laughs> So basically, he, he hasn't said he's going to basically veto the bill yet or not, but we'll find out what happens. If he does, Congress may have a chance to override it. If Trump simply doesn't sign the bill, as it is, it becomes a pocket veto. There would be not enough time for it to go into effect before the end of the congressional session in eight days, causing the new 117th Congressional to start a new start from scratch if there is no bill by their January 3rd swearing in. Democrats have long advocated for a larger second stimulus check as a part of a larger aid package overall, yet Trump's 11th hour insistence, he didn't join it with a stimulus negotiations. So basically Trump did not join the stimulus negotiations as we were to do this. Um, may not be uh, able to move to the needle in the size of the scope of the bill. So basically, since Trump wasn't involved, he can't actually dictate what's in it. But we'll find out what happens. The House of Representatives will vote Monday on a bill to authorize a second stimulus check for up to $2,000 per qualified adult. But the legislation isn't expected to pass the Senate December 28th. In the same day, the federal government once again faces a shutdown unless another stopgap bill passes Congress to keep the lights on. If the president is serious about the $2,000 direct payment, he must call on House Republicans to end their obstructions. Pelosi said Thursday. So basically now we're talking about, now Pelosi's opening her mouth. I will bring the House back in session where we will hold a record vote on a stand up send on bill to increase economic impact payments to two thousand dollars. Hopefully by then the president will have already signed the bipartisan and by bipartisan legislation to keep the government open and to deliver coronavirus relief. The trouble began Tuesday when Trump wanted a second stimulus saw the second stimulus checks for six thousand dollars per person and the upper cap was ridiculously low. And asked Congress to amend the bill to an upper limit of $2,000 instead, hinting he wouldn't sign the stimulus bill into law without Congress meeting his conditions. So basically Trump's trying to be a bully like usual. But I do gotta say this, too. I do not, I do not condemn him for the $2,000 stimulus check idea because it actually is a good idea. But he, if he's gonna do that, he needs to leave the current, um, what is the current qualifications of the second stimulus check as is, as they were written from the CARES Act, $75,000 per adult, $150,000 per married couple, plus you also get money for dependents, but it should still be $2,000 per adult, $4,000 per married couple, and give them $500 per dependent because that's still like, what, $4,500 in a month. That's more than enough to actually help them buy food and hopefully try to get cut with some of their bills and clean their rent so you can see where they're living at. But that's just my opinion, not what's really going on. But as you know, basically, uh, Trump has not signed the second stimulus check into law yet. 
he basically was spent most of his day yesterday, Christmas Day, golfing with Lindsey Graham, which is a longtime ally of his. And this is just a small summary of basically the political crap we're going through. People keep throwing in the thing that they might put in, he might have uh, thrown martial law to basically overthrow the election results, even though martial law would not do him no good, because all it does is it allows, to have, allows the military to have presence on the streets and take control of the citizens. It doesn't allow them to overthrow the election results. And then we also have the people out there that are terrorist gangs or political violence gangs, such as the Proud Boys or Antifa, which I don't support them either because that's just wrong. But um, let's see what happens. I mean, tomorrow's month. I almost said tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow is Sunday. <laughs> Sorry about that. And we know that at midnight tonight in approximately three and a half hours, my time, since I am mountain time, um, that Donald Trump, if he hasn't signed it, which actually for him, which I think would be about an hour and a half. I think he's towers ahead of me. I'm not sure yet. But um, if he doesn't get a sign that we might have a problem with government funding as well as a economic relief package for the people that is desperately needed for those who are living on unemployment because that's all they get at this present time and for those who are about to lose their places of housing because the eviction ban is also going to expire as well. But until next time, um, I will hopefully have you guys have a wonderful evening. Hope you guys have at least get some food in your stomachs and you're safe. And remember, we're all in this together because as you can see right now, the politicians aren't with us on this one because they're sort of squabbling for each other. So until next time, you guys please be safe. And I will broadcast to you either tomorrow or Monday and give you the happenings of what's going on. Hopefully I can bring you some good news because that would be the best news. Until then, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.